All right, to understand finding the vertex and intersections with x and y axis better, we can have a look at this example. Suppose we have a function x squared minus 4x plus 3. We already know how it's going to look like. It will be a u shape that opens up because the number next to x squared or a is positive. But unfortunately, we don't know where we intersect x and y axis, and we also don't know the coordinates of the vertex. So first, let's try to analyze how we can find the vertex. One thing we could do to find it is to complete the square. I will need the brackets x inside and square outside. Now, inside of brackets, there's a half of b, which is negative 2. Outside, I will have to take away that number squared, which is 4. And don't forget to copy 3. So, as a result, we got that x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals to x minus 2 squared minus 1. Now, look at the graph. In this case, vertex is the minimum. It is the lowest point on this curve. Look at our expression in the complete squared form. We have x minus 2 squared. Now, what is the lowest value that x minus 2 squared can take? Something squared cannot be less than 0. So the lowest value is 0. Now, when does it happen when x minus 2 squared equals to 0? That's pretty easy to solve. x equals to 2. Now, that means x equals to 2 is the x coordinate of our vertex. So this number here should be 2. Now, what about the y coordinate? We can substitute x equals to 2 in our equation and find the y coordinate. And it's actually very easy to do so if we already have the equation in a complete square form. Now when x equals to 2, the square bracket equals to 0 because 2 minus 2 is 0, and we are left with negative 1. So the coordinates of the vertex will be 2 and negative 1. Now, how can we find the points of intersection with the y and x axes? Let's start with the y axis. If you look at the graph, you will realize that the x coordinate of this green point is equal to zero. And all we have to do is to find the y coordinate. How do we do that? We just substitute x equals to zero in the equation of the function. Remember our function is y equals to x squared minus 4x plus 3, and if I let x equals to 0, I will get 0 minus 4 times 0 uh, plus 3, which is 3. So that point has coordinates 0, 3. Now what about the intersection with the x-axis? Let's quickly redraw our graph. Now we already know two points, the vertex, which is 2 minus 1, and intersection with y-axis, which is 0 and 3. And we also know that the graph opens up. So it should look similar to this, but we have no idea what intersections with x-axis are. Again, if you look at those points, you'll realize that the y-coordinate of each point is equal to 0. And we will have to figure out the x coordinate of h. How do we do that? Again, look at the equation of our function y equals to x squared minus 4x plus 3. Because we're looking for the intersection with x axis, we know that y equals to 0. So we can make x squared minus 4x plus 3 to be 0. 
and all you have to do is to solve this quadratic equation. Now at this point you already know three ways to do so, by using the formula, by completing the square, or by factorizing. Since we have already completed the square previously, let's use our result. x minus 2 squared minus 1 is equal to 0. So I will take negative 1 to the right hand side and take the square root. So either positive 1 or negative 1. Bring negative 2 to the right hand side and get either x equals to 3 or x equals to 1. And here are the two points of intersection with the x axis. It's 1, 0 or 3, 0. And that is how our graph looks like, with all the key points indicated. Intersection with y-axis, intersection with x-axis, and a vertex. Now let's have a short summary of how to find all the key points. So first of all, you'll have to make sure that you understand whether the graph opens up or down. And to do so, you'll have to look at a, the number next to x squared. If it's bigger than zero, then it opens up. If it's smaller than zero, it opens down. Now to find the vertex, which is the top part or the bottom part, in each case, you will have to complete the square. You will get something similar to this. Some number outside, a squared bracket, and something outside. To find the x-coordinate of the vertex, you will have to make the squared bracket equal to zero. Now to find the y-coordinate of the vertex, you'll have to substitute the x-coordinate, which you just received, into the equation. Our next step was to find the intersections with the axes. Let's start with the y-axis. Just a quick picture. So that is the number we are looking for. And to find it, we'll just have to substitute x equals to zero into the equation. And the last thing that we have to do is to find intersections with x-axis. And to do so, we will have to solve the equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. And this is how we find all the key points of our graph. 